what is this? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm told that this is probably um, the most obscure, weird game that anybody's ever seen. Yep. I've never heard of this game before. I can't imagine what it is. Wow, four save files? Like, as if there'd be enough people that want to play this game? Yeah, like, do you have four people in your house? Or, like, you're gonna play it four times? I don't have four people. I don't have any people. We got two squirrels, a cat, and a hamster. We could each have a file. Whoa. Now that's thinking outside of the tree. So, 1996, uh, I remember seeing advertisements and, like, the news and stuff. I guess it wouldn't be advertisements of the news. It's just talking about how green, uh, groundbreaking this all is. But they'd show, like, this, and they'd say, What you're looking at is not a movie. It's actually a video game. <laughs> well, now, it, looking back on it, it's like, yeah, no shit. But <laughs> at the time, video games were... 2D, you know, I think Super Mario World was, like, yeah. a big deal. He's in the wall. Oh, yeah, we both are. <laughs> yes, I remember how to use the camera. Great. That's important in this game, actually. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, no one's home. Okay. That's the disembodied voice. Hey, buddy. Right. Got a dollar? See you! Well, me too. I'm glad to see me too. Bowser has sealed something. From We're all gonna inside. die. Okay. Right. No, Toad! Toad, come back. Oh. Oh, he's just a ghost. <laughs> he said he was trapped in the wall. So, uh, how this game works is you need stars to open more doors to get more stars to fight the bad guy. Alright, let's do this. Get the stars! Do -do 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 -do. So this is probably the first game that I've played where I felt so compelled by it that I had st I pulled an all-nighter playing this. Oh really? Just this one level. I I don't uh, I wouldn't be able to say what first compelled me to pull an all-nighter. I haven't done it very many times. I think role-playing with my friends over MSN was probably... MSN? What is that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Dating myself here. <laughs> uh, this game, though, I have a bit of a weird relationship with because um, my parents decided to buy an N64 for the whole family for Christmas, the year that this was big. But they decided to give this game, which was like the launch title, to one of our foster kids as a Christmas present. And no one was allowed to play it unless she said it was okay. And she never let anyone play it except for my dad. So I wasn't allowed to play this game even though we had it. <laughs> so the first time I actually like owned it and was able to play it was as an adult. So by the, the time the novelty worn off a little bit. Yeah, I mean by the time the opportunity was there for me, it was kind of like, yeah, well this is a little late. Like <laughs> I'm playing much better Mario games because um, a lot of time has passed. Right? I was a total Gen Oneer when it came to this game. Um, yeah. I wanted nothing to do with Mario 64 when it first came out and. Then I actually played it. Oh, really? Yeah. I was hooked right away. I always loved watching people play it because I wasn't allowed to play it, so... <laughs> it always just seemed, like, so novel and interesting <laughs> because... Even actually, as an adult, when when you played it and I watched you play it, there were levels that I'd never even seen before. Oh, yeah, and there's uh, 15 main levels. And... There's probably about 15 hidden ones that are really tiny nice. and aren't really worth being called levels, I guess. But they are stages or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm a racist Koopa. You know, they say that turtles aren't very fast, though. This one is known for being okay. Okay, he's okay. Yeah. You heard it here first. Even if I don't use the warps, I can still beat him handily. Well, that's good. 
because I wouldn't expect people to know. On the second try. Yeah. yeah. I think the first level is mostly about figuring out how to control, and the second one is like, okay, now see if you're good enough to actually race someone to the top of the mountain. Mm. Yeah. I think yeah. Mario's color scheme is pretty clever. You can put him in any environment and he'll be clear where he is. Right, because if it's too red, or you'll it's see the too blue. blue. Yeah. Yeah. He's got white hands and kind of a yellowy skin. But that was what they were going for way back when they first made him, too, right? On the. Donkey on the Kong NES, was his first. <laughs> well, yeah, it would have been arcade. Oh, okay, arcade. Before Nintendo was making consoles. Wow, you're really having to wait for him. Yeah, I don't know where he is. How long does he take? Does he About have a minute time? 13. Oh, okay. So not too much longer after me. But enough to be just running around in circles. <laughs> yeah. So what's your percentage goal? I'm going 100% on this one. Right on. You think you can do it? Yeah, easy. Nice. I don't think I could do 100% on this game, to be honest. Well, it's not... I haven't had a lot of experience It's with it. not necessarily the easiest game in the world to do 100%. If you just want to get the Bowser, no problem. I pretty much expect anybody who can figure out a controller to be able to do it. Alright. So, I could do it. Yeah, you could do it. Thane? I don't know about Thane. <laughs> God damn it, Thane. <laughs> But no, I, I wouldn't expect like uh, grandma or something to figure it out. Cause, you know, sure. Like I said, anybody who could figure out a controller should be able to do it. Like if you've played video games before, basically. Yeah. Here's the star. So you think Richie could get to Bowser? Oh yeah, I'm very confident in Richie. Okay. Our uh, unseen squirrel. He's a secret squirrel. We secret haven't unlocked squirrel. him yet. <laughs> yeah, we haven't unlocked him yet. There's a few squirrels we haven't unlocked. Yeah. We'll get there. You know. In time. Squirrel friends can't visit the tree every day. Why not? Well, they have their own trees to bend to. Oh. Their own nuts. Wow, wow. <laughs> Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, they gotta deal with their nuts. Yeah, I, I can understand completely. Yeah. So I'm not necessarily grabbing the stars in order too, so the one I select isn't always going to be the one I go for. Uh, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, give her donkey. You just fire right away, you should get this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. What? What did you just get? It said one. Yeah, uh, there are five areas that you need to touch in the sky in order to make a star appear. Oh. Hello. Chain Chomp got you good. Got me real good. Where do you think you'll die first? Like, what level? Oh. First death? Let me think. Probably... Womp's Fortress. Okay. S sometimes I fall off that level by accident. Okay, we'll see what happens. But yeah, you mean just like death in general, not like death by enemy or... Yeah, just death in general, like yeah, probably the fortress. first death would be... One, two, three! One more to go. Nice. I love Goombas. Oh, I squashed that one apparently. <laughs> Actually, there's like a Goomba amiibo I really want. I, I don't know if it's out yet. I saw it on the internet, but... I love Amiibo, so... <laughs> How many Amiibo do we have? Uh, I think we had around 60, or like 60. exactly 60 maybe last time I counted them. And I think we've gotten more since then. Oh wow. So, we're getting there. I mean, we, we do have some duplicates. Um, for the folks at home, we have four Toon Links, and we've painted them all. We, we painted, the four sword colors. Yeah, we painted the three that were not the right color to be blue, red, and purple. You see the way I landed on the star? Mad skills. Mad skills. It's almost like you've done this before. Uh, no, actually, this is the very first time I've played it. Mm. Yeah, retconning mm -hmm. everything that everything was... Everything that was just disguised. Yeah. yeah. 
Was this your first game for the N64? Uh, Did you have an N64? I, I didn't have a 64 for a good year after it came out. The first game I owned was Cruising USA. Mm, okay. But uh, this would have been the first game I had played. We had rented a 64 one night. One weekend, actually. Ah, that's pretty cool. I forgot that they used to do that. Yeah. And it came with Pilot Wings and Mario 64. And we didn't play Pilot Wings that much. Well. Interestingly, too, the uh, rental store gave us two controllers, but both games are one player only. They might have thought that you had games, though. I mean, you could... You could no, nah, I think those were the only two games available at the time. Oh. Like the 64 they probably just brand didn't know. Spankin'. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> what I'm talking about, too. Because I also remember yeah. there being a sticker on the game saying, Be kind, please rewind. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm going to go back uh, for the other two stars once I have the wing cap. Okay. It's not that I can't get them now, it's just it would take a lot longer. It's just faster to do it this way. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we are, Womp's Fortress. So this is where my uh, predicted death is gonna be. All right, don't screw it up, don't die. Chip off Womp's block. Get him. I remember renting, um, what was it? Paper Mario? Oh yeah, I rented yeah. that a lot from the video network in town. There was a, I lived in Cloverdale at the time and there was a place called like Clover Games or something. Okay. And... Kind of a Clover idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anyone who lives there probably knows the store I'm talking about too. It was right by Willowbrook Mall. Um, anyway, I used to rent Paper Mario from there and I remember a couple times, even though there had been like um, gaps between me renting it, my file was still there so I was able to pick up right where I left off. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, well, you were right about the first day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I tend to fall off it at least oh once. There you go. Well, you got it out of your system, so now you can just <laughs> do it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I remember um, back in the, like, video game rental days um, well, I mean, on you cartridges, still... okay. like, you'd, you'd want to be nice and, like, not delete someone's file just in case they... Yeah. I'd usually seek out the completed files, and I would erase those to make my own. Yeah, if, if there was a completed one, yeah. Yeah. Although, if you're not familiar with the game, it's hard to identify a completed file. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, if there's no files available, sure, of course. Like, you're yeah. renting the game, of course you're gonna make a spot for yourself to play. And I don't think anyone was like... Oh, how dare someone... Like, there's no guarantee you're ever gonna get that cartridge again, right? Yeah. So... Because often a game rental store would have, like, three or whatever of the same game. Yeah, it's weird I can see the, like, vector snapping. Yeah. <laughs> That's because we're playing it on the Wii U. Oh, okay. Yeah. On the 64, uh, it looks a little bit nicer, but you wouldn't get HD image. Oh, yeah. Yeah, gotta get that HD N64. Well, you just gotta. Ooh. Some more vector sapping. That's so weird. It went away when you walked closer to it, though, so it wasn't too bad. So often I see people playing this, like, on PC, and you can usually tell because Mario will only walk in eight directions. Oh. So, like, his turns are super sharp. Oh, yeah, his turns aren't very sharp. Yeah. It kind of like skids to a stop, or he needs like a big wide area. Mario's to definitely around. got some uh, weight to him. <laughs> well, that's good, I guess. Yeah. Oh, can you get it? Mm. So close, here it comes. Oh. Mario's still recovering from yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you tried. You did really good. Yeah, you tried. Yeah, yeah. you did good. Yeah. Better luck next time. Better than I would have done. 77, don't fall off. Yeah, this area is completely fenced, so I'd have to try to fall off in this. <laughs> 80. 80. I'm guessing that you're going for the 100 coin star, just... Oh yeah, this is probably the easiest level to do it in. Oh, so really? I, I tend to just go for it right away. Nice. 88. Like, I haven't really gone up the hill that much, and I'm already at 93. Yeah. 
Maybe they wanted you to like accidentally. Yeah. And then figure it out, maybe. I don't know. I know there's also a toad that will tell you about it. Everything in this game is eventually explained if you just talk to the toads. Okay. Which a lot of people don't like to do, which, you know, fair. Yeah. Well, I mean, fair if you don't if you don't want to talk to them, you don't have to, but then like don't say things like, "Oh, they never explain this" or um, you know, how is anyone supposed to figure this out or whatever? Yeah, because that's how I figured out how to play this game, actually, was by talking to toads. I see a lot of complaints like that, um, in general, online, when people are talking about video games, about, like, not knowing what to do and how the heck are you supposed to figure that out, and oftentimes there is, like, a way to figure it out, or to be told it. Forget this guy. Yeah. Don't let him kill you. Uh, that said, though, there's definitely been points where I've been like, how the frick am I supposed to know what to do next? And it often doesn't feel like it's my fault. Yeah. So if you do collect the 100 coin star, it tells you like, wow, you collected 100 coins in one stage. Have a star. Basically. And then you get the option of what was the yes or no there. Well, that was save. It asks you if you want to save every time you collect a star. Oh, okay. And so the 100 coin stars, you can continue the level. That's the only star you can continue yeah. uh, I guess, like, if you get it, it's a lot of work. It definitely is. <laughs> Some levels, it's definitely a lot of work. Yeah. Yay, right on. Alright, I believe you get a life for every 50 coins you collect when you complete a level. Wow. There you go. Alright, next time on Squirtastic.